we love hip hop. Quick question, off brand. You said, and I don't know if we might have to cut this out. Yeah. You're gonna be playing golf with the with the Trumpster, bro. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be playing over there at Margo Largo. So. Oh yeah. yeah. Eh? I'm not a good golfer, but I'll just go and drive my thing. But but I got a hole in one before already. You know what I mean? One of my first tries out with Terrence and uh, and Terry, two guys we grew up with since I was a kid. Uh huh. So, but yeah, we're going down to play some golf and see what's going on. You know, see what's happening. So wait, wait a minute. Are you like an avid golfer? No, no, no. no. It's just my my uh, the the people I know, mm -hmm. Madden Canine, right? Who uh, they're really close with all the, the the Marines and all them people. So okay, okay. Just, you know, so Kid Rock will be there. What? Daddy Snow. You know what I mean? CJ, remember the Wayne Gretzky thing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's. Oh, listen, man. When when it comes to a legend like yourself, you know, just being in the presence of, of other legends, that's just probably a regular day for you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm amongst legends. Yeah, from my neighborhood, from Allenburg. Mm. Yeah, we got legends from there, but. No, I don't really look at it. You know, I just look at, you know, I don't even know if I like him. I don't know if I see how, you know, how he, how he treats me or how he, you know, how he is. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So if he's good, he's good. If he ain't, he ain't. You know what I mean? He said the Trump's just kind of nice in person. He's not as bad as people make him seem, make him out to be. No, no. Well, like you <laughs> Grab these headphones for me quick, fast right here. We start off with some tunage. We get, get, get this vibes pop in here. Okay, <laughs> let's get this started, man. So listen, man, I'm really, really happy to about um, for this conversation I'm about to have right here. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, big salute to our sponsors, Astro Pink. If you know, you know. Check them out on their website, myastropink.com, or on their Instagram, astro underscore pink. And salute to Sovereign Selections, okay, over there at 70 Dundas Street East, right next to the Burrito Boys, upstairs next to Rock the House Barbershop. Tell them the boys from the We Love Hip Hop gang sent you, all right, Sovereign underscore selection or Sovereign dot selections on Instagram. But and when they, and when you do send them, what do they give you when you say you send them? They give you a little, a little something discount. Extra. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right, better. You know what I mean? They, they, they take care of us. Yeah, so they you know do. what I mean. I'm always ha happy to have the sponsors, but I'm more happy to have my guest here with me today. Okay, mm -hmm. this this artist here has a multitude of hit records. Okay, um, collaborations with the biggest artists. You know what I mean? Man's like Daddy Yankee out there. And you know what I'm saying? Um, singles that have sold diamond. I thought you were going to say, when you said single, I thought you were going to say Cindy Lauper. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, I got a song with me and Cindy Lauper. Get out of here. Yeah, man, big. Yeah, that was funny with me and Sly and Robbie in Jamaica. They did a remix. Uh, yeah. Cause Cindy, Cindy, she's down with with the, with the reggae scene too. Oh yeah, she was downstairs. I came downstairs and I was like, "What?" She's like, "Oh, it's no." So we did it, but that's Cindy Lauper. But I don't know. I don't know. I thought you were gonna say Cindy Lauper, so that's why I said Cindy Lauper. So, but anyway. Well, you know, uh, with with music with sales upward of eight to ten million. Okay, we have the legend Snow in the motherfucking building. Everyone. <laughs> Do I hear clap? Hold on. Do I hear clapping back there? <laughs> I know there's more than two people back there. Right? Yo, can, can we get some flirting? I know. I heard one let's clap. Go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Snow in the building. Let's go. Um, and you don't ah, need the headphones anymore. You don't need the headphones anymore. Um, okay. So let's 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 get into it, man. Um, what's one of the most common things people tell you when they recognize you? Like when somebody bumps into you on road and you're like, "Yo, that's snow." What's one of the first things they usually tell you? Uh uh, well, some, it was funny when I first came out and I was in the mall, Fairview Mall, and, and these people came and they say, good job. <laughs> and I said, good job. They said, yeah, you're doing a good job being snow. And I was like, all right, that's pretty cool, all right? And they said, if you're snow, smile. And I'm like, what? They said, smile. I said, smile. And I got that toot right here. Mm -hmm. like, holy fuck, you are yeah. snow. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> they said, you are. I said, holy fuck. I ain't getting that pulled. But no, nah, I just, you know, it's just something like, you know what I mean? Just certain things like, you know, how'd you get into that? Like how, you know, like yeah. especially, especially back then, because like coming from Toronto, they didn't even know there was Jamaicans in Toronto. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people, there's like Jamaicans in Toronto. I'm like, why? You know, so, but uh, after we got the, um, the Blue Jays won, oh. you know, then 94, 95. 
Yeah, yeah. And and ninety, they, they won it when I was in jail. They won it when I was in jail. What was that year? Ninety one and ninety two, ninety two. Yeah, ninety one, ninety two. Mm-hmm. Ninety two, ninety three, ninety one, ninety two. Yeah, it was in there when I went in it. But I don't know. Mm-hmm. Saying, well, let's let's take it to the beginning. Take okay. It to the beginning. Um, I, I, I want to get the full history of Snow. Uh, there's a few interviews out there with you. Uh-huh. And big up to Vlad. You know what I'm saying? I've seen the Vlad TV interview. I think he did a pretty thorough job. But I want to make sure that we get the full, full history on this one right here. Yeah. That's so, why I brought him right here. He grew up with me since I knew him since he was four. So Allenberry Gardens. Allenberry. He moved in Allenberry Gardens. I was the first person to move in Allenberry. I don't know if you know this. Okay. Before anybody. So anybody hailing out Allenbury, I was there first before all, anybody. So y'all were the first family there? Me, my family. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and you know, you but had- it was to... mostly Irish, a lot of Irish, yeah. and Newf- Newfoundlander, you know what I mean? Not too many Jamaicans, not too, you know? Mm-hmm. And then bing, doom, doom, ding, 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 ding. And then the music and then the hip hop, you know? So yeah. that's where it all started was Allenbury. So anybody who said that they taught me anything and they didn't live in Allenbury- and your name ain't MC Shan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you didn't teach me nothing. They're lying. Yeah. Only Allen Berry teach me. Only Allen Berry taught us what we needed to know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you know, you, you grew up with an Irish mom, mm-hmm. um, Italian dad, right? Am I am I right about that? Mm. Or are they both Irish? No. I grew up with my father. They're both Irish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. My father's Irish, but they were divorced when I was one. Mm. He grew up downtown Cabbage Town, my dad. Okay. He run the booze can downtown. My mom lived in a housing project mm-hmm. with me. So they were divorced. So I just grew with my mother, Irish. Yeah. And but my stepfather, my stepfather, my sister's father was Italian. Okay. It's mm-hmm. your stepfather who's Italian. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. And what were your parents like once like the stepfather and, and mom together? Like, because you said your, <laughs> your dad left at one. Gangster. So it's gangster. Gangster. In real life. Real life. Gangster. Mm. Like, I'm not like, oh, but. I grew up like like in a crime family, like you know, a real crime family. Yeah, you know? yeah. When I, I was worried about the children aid, that's what I was always worried about when I was growing up was the children aids coming. The children aid's gonna come and get me, huh? Mm-hmm. Police used to come take my mother away, take everybody away, you know, my house and crazy when I was little, so I was always worried about that children aid, but they never came and got me. <laughs> because I think in my house was really strict. Like we didn't have no drugs in my house. Mm-hmm. You know, we had, I had drug dealers, drug addicts, everything in my house, but they didn't use it. They didn't deal out of my house or they didn't come and mess around with them drugs in my house. Yeah. So, you know, we grew up in a, in a different kind of, you know, without the drugs and stuff, but it was, yeah, we grew up, my mother, my mother, she grew up only listening to R&B. Mm-hmm. Rick James babysat me. You know what I mean? Rick James used to come to the house and, you know what I mean? Yeah. He knew all of it. He met everybody because he lived three doors down from me right here. He lived right this, he lived three doors. Mm-hmm. So my mother was, you know, we'd have like battles outside. We'd have the turntables and the 1200s and the speakers and the sermon beggars packed up. And my mother had 24 crates of albums. Wow. Yeah, she had 24. I have everything. Stylistic, Bobby Womack. Yeah. She had it all. Ask him. He got a lot of my mother's records right now. Yeah. And she wasn't yeah. a DJ? She just no. She just, just liked records. She just music. She yeah. just liked her music. He's got a lot of her records. Trust mm. me. So we would bring it out in, you know, out in. And this is, brother, you couldn't get Fat Laces in Toronto. You couldn't get Puma. You couldn't get Adidas. You couldn't get... Shelto running shoes. You couldn't get nothing here yeah. in Toronto. We had to get our 1200s in Florida, in Hollywood. You know how heavy they're all because they're motors. You know, the 1200s, a motor is not a belt. That's why 1200s, you know, you can stop it and because it has that motor. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. So we'd be taking the records outside. We'd be in the parking lot, in our parking lot, in Allenbury, mm-hmm. playing the music and sunny. You know what I mean? You take that record, I put it over there, put the next record on. Dang. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But my mother would come up. My mother was like, I'm taking the fucking records back. <laughs> She's like, all the records are melting because you know they melt in the sun, in the, in right? The heat. They start yeah, warping, yeah. right? So now all the records, because you know you take the record, I'll throw it over here, put the next record on. That yeah. one's starting to warp. She's like, you're not using that on my records, fucking. You're warping all my records. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's when um I was, but me at that growing up smaller, I was in the rock and roll like Kiss, Ozzy Osbourne, mm-hmm. long hair. You know what I mean? Yeah. Love, you know, love the rock and roll. My mother was R and B and all that stuff, but I was rock. And and how many mm. you you have brother brothers you have and an sisters older brother okay I have an older brother and uh, 
and a younger brother, but we adopted him. Okay. You know, we adopted him, Jermaine, and I have a sister. Yeah, yeah. But that's what it was. So we'd use that. We'd go out in Amber. We'd play our, our records and from Mama, you know? So you were into the rock music, right? Yeah. You had the long hair. Long. You... I do kiss concerts in the neighborhood for all everybody. I, yeah. 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 At a Jamaican's house who cut my hair short, mm -hmm. and put the round glasses, who got me into hip hop, who got me into the reggae, mm -hmm. who got me the brown family, who wow. we this it's our So is, are you from the Brown family? No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, that's who you thought it was. That's yeah. who I thought. You no, I thought no, you were yeah, one yeah. of the neighbors because oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, one no. of the concerts you did in the neighbor's basement. That's Tony Brown. That's Seaton oh, Brown. Brown. That's Brown family. That's see, I live right here. He lived here, the Brown mm. family lived right here, and he lived right. three doors down this way. Okay. So I come out my house, there'd be Domino's playing curry, go, hi, hi. Grandma would be out there, you know, grandma, we call her grandma. She'd be like about 80 years old with a long hair, and she cook us crab apple pie. And, yeah. and you know, we said, Grandma, and, you know what I mean? And so, and my mother, like I said before, my mother and Seton would have battle contests. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because my mother was in the R&B, so she was in the Bobby Womack, Etta James, uh, 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 all that kind of stuff. But but Seton Brown was getting into the new R&B, so he was getting into the, to the Luther Vandross, the Freddie right. Jackson, yeah. you know what I mean? So my mother would be like, who's that? So yeah. That's Luther. Teddy I like Grass. that Teddy. No, Teddy's a little older. Teddy's a little a little older. That's my mama. Mm. But Seton was, you know, so they'd have battles yeah, back and forth. Teddy, yeah. Right. So yeah. That's, so okay. The time now that you're in the basement, mm. you're getting your hair cut, and they put the glasses on you. Yeah. Is this when Snow was born? born. Boom. That's Seton. Who did that's that. Seton Brown. Okay. See, the same family that we, we'd we say, because I remember I'm 11 years old, so mm. I didn't even know about no reggae music. I'm in yeah. the and, and Mrs. Brown, she said, yeah, well, you can have a concert downstairs. So we're downstairs having our kiss concert, spitting our blood and fire, and she's upstairs <laughs> cook, cooking some curry, going to cook jerry, man. And I'm like, yeah, I'm going to wow, what's going on down there? I don't know my love. Right? We're down there, ah, thanks, Miss <laughs> Ms. Brown. Didn't know nothing about you know, being a reggae and now yeah. you know, that kiss. But then, yeah, that that's the family. Boom, they cut my hair. He, I'm just because I had the long hair, and then I slowly started getting in the. I, now I'm getting into hip hop now. Mm -hmm. So I kept the long hair, and I had like you know some beads, like some red <laughs> golden beads, or so, you know, in the neighborhood. So I'm a little, yeah. so I'm walking out, and then Seaton said, "Yo, let me cut your hair," and I'm like, I'm like, all right, and he cut my hair short. And I remember having he we were in the basement and 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 um I saw the glasses. I'm like, see no see, 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 around glasses. I was like, whoa. I came out in Allenbury, like, you know, they were like, holy shit. I had this short hair and round glasses, and that was it. Yeah. It was like that family was there to to like make me. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They mm -hmm. got me into hip hop. So anybody who ever said they got me into hip hop, and, 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 and no, not even close, it's nowhere. Yeah, nothing it's even nowhere. Yeah, that family yeah. there because Silver Sean McCoy, he was from the Bronx. He was from New York. Mm -hmm. when hip hop was just starting. We couldn't get fat laces, shell toes, and all that stuff. Like yeah. I told you. So when he came to Allenbury on, on a vacation, you know, mm -hmm. he never been to Allenbury. He fell in love with Allenbury. Mm -hmm. He fell in love with it. So he'd go home and come back and, and stay six months and go home every six and come back. Right? So when, when he'd go home, he'd say, you know, give us some fat laces, get us some shell toes, <laughs> yeah, you know, get yeah. us our thing. You know what I mean? So that's when, um, you know, nightmares and, and schoolie D and, and, and all that. And, you know, that was, that was you know, early was, times. You in have the, no the mixtapes. Yeah. You know, so that's what it was. So, so that's the Brown family. That's who, you know, that's who, that's who, uh, that's who. Got me into everything. Yeah. And, yeah. you know, as you were growing up, mm -hmm. you know, you, you jumped off the porch pretty young, as they say. You know what I'm saying? You got it. You, you you got into the streets pretty young. Young. My whole family was street. Right. From the beginning of time. What What do you think was your first, what was your first charge, man? Because you had some big charges, but I, before I, that. I'll tell you, Charlie. I'll tell you my yeah. first charge. My first charge was I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, Fairview Mall, mm. and I saw these movie passes. So, boom, I took all the movie passes, you know? Yeah, Stop yeah. Like that. And how old were you at this time? I was in grade seven. Okay. So, so a year older than everybody else in grade seven because I failed grade two. Mm -hmm. So whatever, however I old I am, I'm in grade seven, right? And I steal them movie passes. And, and I'm selling them outside the cafeteria. You know, I'm selling them. And Mr. Field, it's not Mr. Field. I went to Woodbine. I don't know if you know Woodbine. 
That's by Vanier, mm -hmm. Peanut Plaza, and all that, right? So yeah, I, I know went, exactly what you're talking about. I went there for you know for a minute, and then he said, "Yeah, <laughs> brought me to the office. Where'd you get this?" I said, "Don't worry about where I got that. Where'd you get that?" He said, "God, I said that stupid look on your face." <laughs> <laughs> right? He said, <laughs> "Right?" He said, "But but 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 gonna gonna charge me for." theft mm -hmm. so i said all right my mom and my dad are divorced i got this on film from my dad like i got my dad telling the story too you know? yeah so it's yeah, cool yeah. from hearing it from his story my mother's gangster she don't care nothing mm. nah. all right so they charged me for theft all right the, the young offenders is at shepherd and uh young young and shepherd that's where the uh the young offenders court was mm -hmm. I go there. I get who gets who, guess who I get as a lawyer. I get my dad. Wow. Got to get my dad, right? So my dad's my lawyer, right? He's got his briefcase. He's got his papers ready. Everything, <laughs> right? Crazy. The first witness is Mr. Field. Is Mr. Is the the principal. Mm -hmm. So my dad, you know, <clears throat> you know, clears his throat. And he's, he's on the stand. He says, "My dad stands up. He says, so." How long have you been president? My mother yells out, he's the principal, you idiot. I said, holy fuck. I said, I plead guilty, your honor. It's the worst. I said, dad, you're fired. I fired him right after. I said, dad, you're fired. He said, how long you've been president? My dad, my mom, he's the principal, you idiot. So that was the starting of my, um, of my, uh, career. my career. So, but I did better. I fired my dad, got rid of him. Told him, you know, I love you, Dad, but you know, <laughs> I gotta get That's ready. Like yeah, That's I gotta get crazy. Ready. So then, you know, but then it started, That's you know, crazy. started happening. You know, I was getting charged on robberies and yeah. attempt murders, and you know, assault police and 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 assaults with bats, and you know, so they just started, you know, they broke my mother's legs. The police broke my mother, beat my mother, what? broke her legs. You know what I mean? So, oh, <laughs> Yo, that's, yeah. <laughs> ask, ask him. See, that's why. Yeah, but um, the police were really, yeah, the police were really like, you know, coming down on me. Coming yeah, down on yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah, they broke her leg, charged me for like, you know, two attempt murders, stuff that I didn't, you know, didn't even do. Mm. So my dad was like, "Yo, you gotta, we gotta, you know, keep you, you know." And plus, like. I know all the real gangsters in the real street, like me growing up with all, you know, from everywhere, from Cabbage Town. That's where everything started, right? Mm -hmm. Everything started in Cabbage Town back then. You know, back in them, them days, everything started. So I know all the killers. I know everybody. I know all everybody I know. And I still know a lot of them, you know, but I didn't have the heart. They yeah. say, Snow, you, you can't be gangster. You can't be here, man. You got to sing. Yeah, You're yeah. too kind. You're too big hearted. You know what I mean? So. God gave me this other route to 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 take and um and to do that. You know what I mean? So that's so at some point in time, you caught like you you beat two attempt murder charges. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, my best friend did it. They charged him for what I did. Okay. And me for what he did. Yeah. Yeah. And so. after you beat that, mm. you made a move down to NYC. Well, I got after I beat it, I was out for a week. Mm-hmm. And then they charged me for beating a guy in the face with a crowbar. Okay. I saw it causing bodily harm. Mm -hmm. So then I got $60,000 bail on that. Then I just went, I just, boom, da -da -ding -ding -ding, down in New York City. You know what I mean? Hanging on the street corner down in South Queens, South Jamaica. What prompted that trip, man? Were you just trying to like just, not like get away, like trying to do a run, but like just trying to get some breeze and just uh, change the scenery type of thing? What made me go to New York? Probably at that time. Probably to go see Marvin's family. Probably to go see Marvin's people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We went down there and checked his people down there and his, yeah. his wife and stuff and her family. Mm -hmm. And that's when I would just be on on the street corner singing. Blah, blah, blah. And that's when Shan heard me. Okay. Shan was like, yo, I heard you could sing. I was like, Shan, what up? Blah, blah. You know, I love Shan. Yeah. You know, but I didn't want to be a singer. It's not like I was like, Wanting to be a singer or not, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I was just like, all right, what, what, what are we doing? You know what I mean? We're drinking, what are we doing? We're fighting, we drinking, well, you know? Yeah. So I ran into Shan. Shan was there buying some weed. Shan was like, yo, Snow, 
I said, Sam, blah, blah, blah. he's like, yo, come to my house. I said, I shan't, I'll do whatever. I don't even, I don't even want to do music, but I'll hang out with you. Yeah, and you already knew and, him from the Juice Crew oh, and everything. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. He's from, you know what I mean? Left me lonely and stuff, mm -hmm. right? So, and I always liked Shan better than that at KRS One, even though I had done song with KRS One and him. I love Shan's tone. I love his 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 tone. And, but that, yeah, it's just lucky because me and Shan, that's my that's my brother. But, mm -hmm. but um. So I went to his house, but he was living rough. He was living tough, especially hip hop back then. They were getting a thousand a show. They weren't making that much money. Like, you know, like I gotta, and I'm telling you stuff that he's already talked about. So I'm not telling you his business because yeah, I don't yeah. talk about people's business. But if he already talked about it and said that I could talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. You know what I mean? You no, know, salute to MC Shine. Yeah. yeah. So he didn't have too much money. Right. So at this time, I just got out of jail. I'm a booster. I'm street. You know what I mean? I don't mm -hmm. want, I'm not like, oh, I can't do that. I want to just crack a career. What's up, Shan? Shan got no food? What? You got no... I'd go to the AP and P and I'd steal all the roasts. Mm. I'd steal steaks and fucking burritos for the dog. The dog's eating burritos. <laughs> Everybody's like, holy fuck, who are you, Snow? You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I come out of nowhere, I'm stealing all the food for him. And I'm on bail. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, back in Canada. Back in Canada. So I'm risking my life. So that's why, Shan, you ask Shan anytime, any minute, any second about me. Mm -hmm. He'll do whatever. Like, because, you know what I mean? He knew, like, sh this guy was... You know what I mean? Super it wasn't, thorough. Yeah, I was like on bail stealing, <laughs> you know. But and so we just did it and and wrote the songs and Shan brought it out of me and 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 that was it. So it just, you guys were making an album. What yeah. made you decide to start making an album? What's good, y'all? I want to take a quick break from this interview with the legend Snow to give a salute to the sponsor for today's episode, Sovereign Selection, over there at 70 Dundas Street East, right next to the Burrito Boys, right upstairs next to Rock, Rock the House Barbershop. They are the only indigenous boutique dispensary in Toronto that specializes in quads and super quads, all right? They're keeping me toasty right now. Now, this week, I'm going to be smoking on some anxiety pink, you know what I'm saying? Just to help with the anxiety. But big salute to the team over there. They got edibles, they got tinctures, they got everything you need, all right? And only the best in selections. And they have a loyalty program as well. If you get 10 orders, you get the last or you get a half quarter on the, on the 10th order, as well as their loyalty program where, you know, you get your loyalty card, you punch the numbers in the card, or when you recommend somebody you'll get some discounts okay hit them up over at their address 70 dundas street east right next to the burrito boys right upstairs right next to rock the house barber shop and let them know that the we love hip-hop boys sent you all right sovereign selections on instagram as well and big thanks for them for sponsoring this episode but let's get back to this interview with the legend snow cheer just just linking up like that that day i just went to his house he started playing beats and then I just lay on his couch, sleep on his couch, mm -hmm. boom, 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 wake <coughs> up, go to the 7-Eleven to the or whatever store that was, and I'd steal all the chicken sandwiches. Dang, holy shit, I used to love these chicken sandwiches. Dang. I'd go in there, and I'd steal all the chicken sandwiches, and the guy said, you? I said, what? He goes, you steal all the chicken sandwiches. I said, what are you talking about? I just, I got all of them in my arm. I got them stacked. I got like fucking 40 of these little chicken. They're so delicious. I got a stack. He goes, every time I fill up, every time you come in, all gone. Every time you leave, all gone. I said, what the fuck are you talking about, man? I'm all stacked. I said, I ain't coming back here no more. I don't even fucking eat meat. I leave, I leave eh? So give me some of that mayonnaise. Wow. But, um. And then we just did the album and then, you know, I, and, 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 and I, I went to, cause I remember I never, I never did a harmony. I never been in the studio. Mm -hmm. So if anybody says, Oh, we were, nobody got no songs in before. Or if you were working with nobody, that's the only time I was in the studio was Shan. That was your first set. First of time. Wow. And, yeah. Shan do a harmony. I'm like, harmony. What the hell's a harmony? Shan. All right. Huh? Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right, yeah. You know? Did it, did it, did it, but I never saw the album mixed. I mm -hmm. never heard the album mixed. Because back time, them times there was on the, on the reel, so they had to cut it up and do it and do all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? So, boom, the, the, the record's done. I'm going to go do a video now for Informer, mm -hmm. Silver Cup Studio in, in Queens. I've never been on TV before. Now I'm doing a video. I don't know if I can get makeup done. Okay, action, right? 
I saw the record coming. I said, listen, I got to go home. I got charges, but they're probably only giving me, you know, a little bit of time. You know, I'm not looking at too much. You know? Yeah. Well, I said, all right. So I get back to Toronto. Judge, Shane Judge, blah, blah, blah. I said, okay, boom, here. Yeah. Gives me another year. Mm-hmm. That's when I go back in for a year. A year, that's like, you know, that's like nice, right? It's like. Yeah, nicely. Right? But I remember, I'm in jail. Me, my father, my brother, my Uncle Patty, my Uncle Terry, like everybody in the East Detention. You guys are all in jail together at that time? In the same cell, brother. That's my mother wild. would come. My mother would come and she would take it. She would call everybody down. We'd have the whole visiting thing. Who are you mm. here to visit? Everyone. <laughs> there was my, my dad, my brother, my Uncle Patty, my Uncle Terry, my Uncle Patty, my Uncle Patty. See, my Uncle Patty was, we terrorized regions. Mm. Terrorized. Terrorized region. Everybody knows Patty. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I know Patty. And so, Patty, rest his soul, he, he passed Patty. But, uh, yeah, he was in jail. They're all in jail and they're all in the same cell. Yeah, because there was, and not to interrupt you, there's well, three a time, of them. Three of them at, 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 at a time. We yeah, because I have a question where it was like your dad and your brother. So yeah. it was your dad, your brother, and uncle. Uncle Terry and Uncle Patty. Jesus. Yeah. All of us, yeah. When my wow. uncle Patty came, because my my mother told me, and I'm 18 years old, I'm on I'm on the the, the two attempt murder, so mm-hmm. I'm on the pen range with some some serious people. And I said, yeah, my uncle Patty. He said, Patty, oh, Patty. Everybody knows Patty. You know, everybody knows Patty. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, the police beat him for nine hours. He's downstairs. He's in the hospital, right? So he's in the hospital in the east downstairs for a couple months. I tell him, yeah, he's down. I tell this one guy, right, who's running the range, Zuby, this big, you know. Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, Patty, he's down there. He said, yeah. I said, yeah, he's in the hospital. The police beat him. Oh, all right. Mind you, Patty don't know who I am. Yeah. Patty's done eight years, nine years, 10 years, 12. So he don't know me as a as an adult. He comes to the house in the Cadillacs back in Allenbury, but he don't, you know what I mean? So now, boom, he comes on the range, and I see him in the east, right? Mm-hmm. He comes by the, by the, by the, by the grave. Patty in here, Patty, Patty. So we up there, Patty. I hear so many stories about him, right? Yeah. So Patty and them are him and Zuby, they're pacing back and forth, pacing back and forth, right? And I'm staring, I guess I'm staring at him like a fucking love child, right? Like mm-hmm. I'm like, oh <laughs> you know, my mouth's probably drooling, right? Mm-hmm. This is a fucking gangster. This is, you know, bad. This is bad, you know. And so I sit down on the bench and, and the guy said, Patty said, How'd you know I was here? And Zuby said, He told me you're here. He looked at me and said, How the fuck do you know I was here? Mm-hmm. I said, oh, shit, I'm there. I'm there. He said, holy fuck. He said, come here. He said, what's all you? And I said, that's all. He said, no. He said, I was going to fucking smash you. He goes, who the fuck is this <laughs> kid keep looking? Because I kept staring at him, right? Mm-hmm. He's like, who's this kid keep staring at me? Keep, keep staring at me, right? Yeah. But boom, then he was in my cell and then the father and then my brother. And then, you know, so everybody, yeah. So it was, you know, it was pretty good. And and it was funny because we'd all go to the, we go, we go to the ring. We go to, to, to yard. So I was on five, what, what time was that? Five East, five C's, five, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So five C East, five C West. Five C West was more Jamaicans, all Jamaicans. This was mostly all white, but most of them all my family. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But when we go to yard, we go to yard together, right? So when we go to yard, I'd be all in the corner with all the Jamaicans. Lord of mercy. Yeah. Singing, right? And my brother is more gay. He's three years older than me. Mm-hmm. He's more gangster. He'd be walking with all the gangsters and they say, you sure that's your fucking brother over there? That's your brother. He says, yeah, that's my brother over there. I said, a lot of murder. I'd be in the corner, right? Yeah. Beating on the wall. See, you sure that's your fucking brother? I said, that's my brother. But yeah, the reggae just hypnotized me and just from that Brown family, from that silver, from Sean McCoy, he would go to New York and then bring back these tapes and, and I'd play it in my basement. My mother would bang on the ground and say, turn that shit off. Cause she couldn't understand it. Mm-hmm. it was live tapes. Break, trees, break, blah, blah. You know, she's like, sound what tapes. The? Yeah. yeah. She, so she couldn't understand it. Now she loves it. Now she hears it. She, she loves it. But back then she couldn't understand it because it was so wild. But I just fell in love with it and I fell in love with the culture. Mm-hmm. I just loved it. I loved the food. I loved that. Just, I just, yeah, it was just, it's just, yeah, I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to eat the food. I didn't want to sing the music. I didn't, I, it just, uh, it just took it took you took me yeah yeah like took me bad especially when I when I read Rose and Tennessee and Nitty all these people when I heard them I'm like yo this is this music is is is, is bananas it's crazy it's, and and to go and get respect how I did when I first went down there and and saw the love that I got from them it's just it was just ah you know so um while you're in jail. Mm-hmm. 
your video for Informer dropped. Yeah, that one, that time. Yeah. 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 Can you tell see, us Snow, about that experience? Like, see, Snow, you got a phone call. I said, phone call where? I said, the, the bubble. You go, I go to the bubble. I said, yeah, what's up, boss? I said, yeah, some eat that guy. I said, oh, shit, Charlie. Charlie's out. Yeah, fine. I wonder how he's doing. I phone. What's going on? Collect call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Snow, I saw your video. I said, my video? My video is not out yet. Mm. Especially because they're not really telling me about Canada. They're Because I was signed to America, and they're dealing with America, and they're dealing with, you know what I mean? So, and... Yeah, that's some crazy stories. But um, so what were, what were we talking about? Informer, the video oh, dropping yeah, yeah, yeah. while so, you're still inside. Oh, like you're in the East attention. Yeah. And you're no, 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 I'm not in the East. No, we're, we're, the, we're, east the East, when I'm with my father and uh, my uncle and all them, that's for the two attempt murders. I beat the two attempt murders. I get I get out. Right. I get charged with the other one, the crowbar, the crowbar. one now. So now I go and I boom, I get a little time. Mm -hmm. And they give me a little sentence over there. And they said, go grow some oranges and some plants over there at Maplehurst. <laughs> okay, the hearse. Yeah, <laughs> right? yeah, yeah. So I yeah, go yeah. to the hearse, right? I'm with Dwayne Gross. I'm some, with some Allenberry people too. So I'm with some Allenberry. So then... I did the video, but I never saw the video edited, like I was telling you. Mm -hmm. So I never saw the video edited, and I never heard my album mixed. So while I'm out, I had this little radio, and, and 88.1 would play my lonely, lonely, lonely Monday yeah. morning. And I'd put it up against that pole, and I'd be like, yo, people were like, yo. So then I phone Char, I phone him, and I'm like, what's up, brother? He's like, yo, I saw your video. I'm like, I don't think it's out yet. He's it's out. I saw it mm -hmm. on Rap City. He goes, and it comes on again. Saturday, it comes on in the morning time, mm -hmm. and then it comes on at nighttime again. You know what I mean? It yeah. repeats at nighttime. Yeah, yeah. So at nighttime, we'd watch the movie. We'd watch our late movie, and then after the movie, we'd put on Rap City, and we'd watch Rap City. Mm -hmm. That was our thing every week. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And not everybody would go to bed, all the bikers, whoever, all, you know, whoever was not into that stuff would go to bed. Yeah. And we'd hang out, and we'd all, you know, do what we got to do. So I hear... It's it was it, it's on and it's coming on again tonight. So I'm like, oh shit. So I tell a couple people. So then I say, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. So I go down and, and now when we go to we go to we go to, to, to dinner, we go to the uh cafeteria where everybody is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I go down there and big up my uh, my my Rexdale family, uh, uh, uh Trey Deuce and Easy and them. So right? Good. Some real, some real his family right here's to, it's his family too. They, so it's some real, 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 real guy, right? So they say, they say, Darren! They know me as Darren. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They know me. They know, you know what I mean? They yeah. Just me. They know me. They say, Darren, I heard your video coming on. I said, I'm not sure, maybe. I said, holy shit, I hope, you know, I hope, I hope it's better. Yeah, you know. That night, now everybody's staying up late. Mm. Bikers, everybody. I'm watching this fucking video. Let's see what you got going on here. How the fuck you sound like? I'm like, oh shit. Me and Dwayne, we're pacing back and forth. I'm pacing. He's just, <laughs> I hear, man, and, 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 I come out. Now there's the, the, all the seats of the TVs up there on the wall, and I'm up, uh, you know, and I'm in jail, and mm -hmm. I'm in the TV, and everybody's there. And, hey, yeah, 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 the bikers, everybody, and you know what I mean? And, and so <clears throat> that's where it hit. And then, boom, they gave me a weekend pass. I went and did my uh, electric circus. Nice. I did my Rap City. They were like, yo, he's on a, a a weekend pass, you know. They gave me a weekend pass, went back to jail, then did another like little time, a month or something, and then Limousine picked me up, mm. you know. And, and it was funny because his Limousine picked me, but I ain't going to tell you, they know who it is, and I'm sorry for it. We're cameras on that camera. I'm sorry. But I grew up with criminals, gangsters and all that, boosters and all that stuff, right? Yeah, so yeah, boom, yeah. I'm not snow before I went to jail. Now I'm snow coming out. Now I get this guy, they got a the clothing line, right? And he said, Snow, I want you to come to my store, rah, rah, rah. And, you know, uh, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, we'll go. He said, when to give me some clothes. Mm -hmm. Nobody ever gave me nothing before. I'm not snow. I go in the back. My boy steal everything. We take his whole store. <laughs> take the whole store. Damn, bro. Take the whole store. I come in the limo, the whole limo's packed. I'm like, you, what the fuck you guys doing? You can't be doing this shit no more. I'm snow. Yeah. 
I gotta be buying. You know, what the fuck? You left us in the store we were all alone, <laughs> fucking for like twenty minutes. I'm like, nah, nah. So I thought it was the protocol. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're like, you That's know, but but it was funny because see, we, we grew up boosting. I was, you know, I grew up boosting, so my brother's a booster. My everybody's a booster, right? So mm. when 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 every week my brother would be boosting, I'd be in New York, wherever I'd be ever doing. You know, my brother would be boosting. He'd go and boost the Billboard magazine. Mm -hmm. He's number six, number six. <laughs> Next week, boost the billboard again. He's number five. <laughs> so every week, he'd boost in the billboard. Hold on. I got to stop you for a second. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, what? Sam, you already at that point made it. Why he got to be boosted? He's, why is he still boosting the magazine? <laughs> brother, brother. <laughs> Tell him not to. <laughs> like he could pretty much buy it at this point. Yeah, I'm, I'm, think about it. I'm number six now. I'm number one. I went all the way up to number one. Number one, let's go. Back I to work. Still stuck in the magazine. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Tucking him in. Rock. Never stop. Never stop. That was the, yeah. Dedicated, yo. <laughs> yeah, never stop. I went and I brought, I brought like a lot of them on tour with me, you know, but a lot yeah. of them, you know, they couldn't get across the border. They mm -hmm. couldn't, <laughs> they, they, they stopped my whole bus. They said, holy fuck, where the hell are you guys going? Oh, like, you so ain't going nowhere. Let me ask you, because I feel like people here in Pharma, it's a huge, huge song to this day, remixed, everything, Big, right? Yeah. But I don't think everybody really caught the play of what I go on in the tune, bro. Okay? Good. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. then they say, yeah. Because that song is a story. The song is a rat story about rats and formers. Yes. That's the biggest informer. Like we got little, you know, little Wang sang it. Yeah, right? little Wang was singing it. We got that white boy. That's no informer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because when he talk about a snitch, he's half to say that's that's a big now, that song. But okay, can you break it down? Mm -hmm. Okay, informer. You know this. You know the daddy. You know this daddy snow. You play. don't play that. You look at Bowman no, down. But not no play that. This is informer. You know, so daddy snow. I'm gonna, they're gonna blame. If I'm ready, you know, so that it's not going to blame. If you're going to do it, then take your money, sister, and stab somebody. That's all. Mm. Somebody said, I stabbed somebody. You know what I mean? So that's what it was. It was like, because. Yeah, yeah first it was, first it was a skiddly boom, boom down. When, when Shan heard it, Shan was like, yo, I love that skiddly boom, boom down. And then it got to a licky boom, boom down. Yeah, yeah. And then I had to change that when I go to Jamaica, because now Jamaicans are like, yeah, man, you can't be licking my blood clot. <laughs> so, so I'm like, a bunk a ding ding bar. <laughs> I'm staying far away from all that shit, right? So, but that's what it was. It was just, and, 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 and it, it was just me having fun. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. didn't do it. I was just in jail singing Coca Tees and Tennis Saw a song and read all these people's songs. Yeah. And not trying to be a, oh, reggae singer or this or that or, you know? So, and it just happened to me. And then and that was it. Wow. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it just came out of me. I remember Junior Chakerson, right? The guy from a Trinidadian family and from our, from Allenberry. And we were coming out Loblaws. And I started, blah, 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 blah. he's like, yo, you're good. I'm like, holy shit, I am. <laughs> like, I didn't, you know, it just pot came out of me. I'm like, holy shit, I'm starting to sound good at this stuff. Yeah. And not trying to, just mm -hmm. trying to figure out what the hell was they were saying and right. rewinding that tape and blah, 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 oh, oh, oh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that was it. And then, you know, and then that was it. And in my neighborhood is like, then the Jamaicans started really moving in. Mm hmm. And then so like 92, 91, I got out of hip hop, you know, like I didn't get out of hip hop, but I was just more into, into the reggae, more into dance hall and more into like that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Hip hop was kind of like, like my fast, last favorite album, probably my favorite album was off of like uh, Brand New Dean. Okay. That whole album. All for one album. Yeah, that whole album is my favorite album. Mm -hmm. Every song, I probably one or one song on that album I don't like, but every song, that's when I was, you know, just getting in there, you know, and then, yeah, that's when I was getting in there. And that's when we ended up going like Yeah, and then they all grew up because, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, to, one of your second biggest, or one of your other, 
huge, huge mega hits. Anything. Okay, yeah. anything for you. Yeah. Can you tell me the story of how that song came from a, J- a Jameson bottle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was um, um, Herbie Lovebug. I don't know if you know Herbie Lovebug. Yeah, Herbie that's Lovebug. the legend. Yeah, from New York. Bum, mm-hmm. bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Oh, shit, and all them. And Kid and Play. He did all Kid and Play. Yeah, he did a lot, like, you know. Mm-hmm. He says, yo, Snow, let's do it. You know, we're going to start working on some music. I said, all right, boom. So he comes up here. So now he's here. We're at the studio, but I'm at the clubhouse. I'm at the... uh at the biker clubhouse every night, I'm bringing girls back, and then there, and he's like, "Holy fuck, man! He's like, Are you gonna work or not?" <laughs> <laughs> My brother wants to punch him out. Everybody, everybody's going wild. He's like, "Brother, we, 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 I, we can't work with you. Mm-hmm. You're too wild. You know what I mean? You're not doing." Right. He says, "Where don't you know nobody?" I said, "Bermuda." <laughs> I said, "Bermuda." Let's go to Bermuda. I said, all right, boom, let's go to Bermuda. Okay. So we go to Bermuda. We get on the plane in Bermuda. It's just me, look, Herbie Lovebug, and my manager at the time, David Ng. Right? So we, we're at, at the Duty Free, and I get my bottle of Jameson's whiskey mm-hmm. at, the, at the Duty Free. Da, 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 I got that ready for, you know, for the tomorrow night or whatever is going on, right? Boom. We get to the stu- We get to the, ho- the house. Unpacking our stuff, boom, 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 we're there. He's got the drum machine, you know, in the front room right here, how we are here, boom, in the front room. I'm like, well, oh, have a nice drink. You know what I mean? And I said, Irish, Irish man should have a nice Irish drink, mm-hmm. right? Hold on. Irish guy comes out the liquor store, right? <laughs> right? He comes out, the Irish guy comes out the liquor store, and he's got a bottle of whiskey in the back pocket here, right? And he comes out there in this snowy, uh, right? And the Irish guy slips on some ice. Boom, he falls right into it. He goes down and he says, I hope that's blood. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's blood. Right. So I start, I said, I want to drink. So mm-hmm. I said, where, where, you know, so I start following him. I'm like, where's the bottle? He's like, I hid it on you. I'm like, brother, where is it? And he's like, that's what I'm like. I will do any, anything just for you. I'll give me back my bottle. Don't make me feel blue. He's like, yo, that's it. <laughs> I'm like, what's it? He's like, yo, we ran into the front room. He's like, I will do any, anything just for you. And then just turn into a girl, say, make mm-hmm, it, you know, mm-hmm. whatever, a girl song. And then got Beanie Man, Bougie, and all them on the remix. And they just blessed me. You so know? before we read the remix, you linked with Tony Kelly. Yeah. How did that happen before y'all? Before he brought all these uh, extra people on onto the remix, that was my record company. Uh, yeah, okay. they were like, "Let's bring in Tony Kelly to do the remix." Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we got Hype Williams. I'm see, I'm the one who brought Hype Williams to Jamaica before Belly. Wow, he didn't go to Jamaica before Belly. I brought him to Jamaica to do anything for you video. Okay, you know, so Hype Williams came down there, did the video with Tony, and 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 then when they did that remix, that was it. That was like. That, that was the song that really like, stamped me. Like, boom. <sighs> you know, in the dance hall. Like, everybody else, like, like Ninja, when I met Ninja, man, Ninja say, who's that slow? Girl, I've been hurt. Now I need another look. That's a Ninja song. Mm-hmm. Girl, I've been hurt. You know? But the anything for you, that one there is just what really stamped me. You know, really, when I went to the dance hall and I met Stone Love and they played it like five times and I, okay. no, no, no. and I'm like, holy shit, man, this is crazy. To this day. Yeah, it's crazy. When just, when the, like the, the bum, first bum, 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 bum. people oh, are the, the, the whole place goes crazy you know what i'm saying that's the recognize the, the recognizability of it just from yeah. the first notes that's when you know you have a hit for life both my hit songs have hit horns yeah informer yeah anything for you yeah, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I heard somebody yeah. told me, they were like, yo, I was doing an interview and they were like, you know, you write like the Beatles. And I'm like, write like the Beatles. And they're like, yeah, you always start with your, with your chorus first. Interesting. A lot of people don't, a lot of people put verse, then they, they got build up, build up. I come with, yeah, I come with, I will do anything. Girl, I've been hurt. You know, uh, everybody wants to be like you. In fun. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I just give it to them right away. But I'm not knowing I'm doing that. Right. I didn't know I was, like, oh, this is why I'm the structure that, uh, the Beatles, dude. It just came naturally. Yeah. 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 I don't know if it had, Shan had, uh, of course, Shan had a lot, you know. Mm-hmm. Shan had a lot to do with everything, but maybe Shan knew. <clears throat> I don't know, but 
I don't know what the fuck, but anyway, that was whatever. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. So now we're in jail. Now I get out and boom, we go there. And now the song's number one in the world and on and on. And they kick me out of America for life. Boom. You know? Yeah. Well, no, no. Not really. Maybe. Why did they kick you out of America for life? Why did they kick me out? Yeah. Because I heard you mention this in the Vlad interview as well. Because... I'm a real gangster, gangster, mm-hmm. killer gangster. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, because <laughs> every I'm like, yo, what am I? This is way <laughs> past the stats. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see the real me? <laughs> no, just because the, the criminal. Yeah. And 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 they had something against my family. Mm. Like I told you, they broke my mother's legs and stuff like that, and they, you know, and you know, yeah, yeah, and so a lot of stuff like that. So it's 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 totally reversed now. You know what I mean? Now they they say snow, and they say I do kids for the kids, and for yeah. the we do a thing on Allenbury, you know. But but then it was uh, so they um, and I think when I went on a senior hall show, mm-hmm. right. I was like, yo, Alan Barry, yo, 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 33 division, ah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they, were like, oh. yeah. they were like, ah, hey, all right. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, he, blah, 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 yeah. kick him out. Oh, <laughs> so, man. Right, kick him out. And they keep, but remember, I wasn't, this wasn't my dream. Mm-hmm. This wasn't my dream. And this wasn't like, you know, I want to be a singer and, you know what I mean? And, and my dreams now are crushed and, I, and what am I going to do now? And, I said, well, all right, let's go back to Allenbury. <laughs> what are we doing? Here, I, I got more money to drinks. Let's yeah. go. You know? Well, the checks are coming in. So I bought my mother a house. Yeah. The first thing I did when I got out, I bought my mother a house. That's dope. That's dope. No. Yeah. We don't know. We got to give that a round of applause. Oh, yeah. It's like a lot of, a lot of people, most people would, mm-hmm. but a lot of people wouldn't. Right. A lot of people wouldn't like this. Right. All right, let me set me set me up first. And like I forget who said it. I was watching an interview the other day, and Kevin Hart and, and that rock guy with the eyebrow. He said the rock guy said, "Oh yeah," and the lady said, "Oh, congratulations! You bought your mother a house." You know what I mean? He's like, "Well, fucking ten billion dollars later, Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 you only buying her now?" <laughs> yeah, like, you know come on, I mean? that's like should be first on the list. Get your mom thing. out the hood. You know what I'm you know? saying? But that was yeah. But no. Took care of the hat, and um, and chatted. Just that's it. Just keep it on, uh, you know. But then I started drinking more, and then they kicked me out of America. <laughs> and then I'm fighting more, and I got more charges, you know. You were fun when you were drinking. I was fun. No, so oh. you weren't fun. Oh yeah, well, I was fun. You could get to a certain <laughs> point where you're fun, but if you drank too much. <laughs> One time, I, I joined by Alan Berry one time. I, I, I'm dragging, I, I got my car and I see all of them. They're all in the hood, eh? Mm. And they start saying something. Oh, I stop that yeah. I pull on machine gun. I'm like, you mother mother. Jesus Christ. I said, yo, I got to give up this drinking. Yeah. I got to give up the drinking. And you're so famous at this point, King. I'm famous. I'm driving. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah I'm acting the fool. Wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. right? I was right there. I was ducking in front of myself. You know, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was ducking. But You're then, you know, we, like, 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 That's scrap, wild. like, scrappy, he, he got into trouble too. Like, mm-hmm. we, we, you know, if we didn't get into yeah. this trouble, we got to keep it. We had to keep it, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he was doing so good and so good. Boom, 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 boom. And then, boom, a charge. You know? Yeah. Yeah, Don Miguel, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's who you're talking about for, for Scrappy. Yeah, salute to Don. We have a Don Milian interview where we, we, we covered the, him getting into the big incident and stuff like yeah. that. Because, you know, I, I, I raised him since he's a little kid. Mm. I gave him his first rap. I wrote his first rap when he was about 10 years old. And, wow. and, I, and I used to graffiti. He used to come to my house and knock on my door, and I used to bring him, teach him how to break dance. And I used to do his graffiti Get down his pants. What? Of course. Wow. I was in Allenbury. Out, that's the per- I, yeah, we were the people in Allenbury. We were the one with the set. My family yeah. had the set. Boom, the three twelve hundreds. We had the tw- all the records and mm-hmm. you know what I mean? No, oh, salute to yeah. alias. Yeah. yeah. So all of them, you know. Yeah. So all of the she he was little than me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then his little brother Looney and all them. Uh-huh. That's, generation. that's your generation. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I used to bring him in the neighborhood. I used to bring him in, into the parking lot and pick him up and put him up on the car and 
you know what I mean? We'd all be all there drinking and you know what yeah, I mean? He's only yeah. little though. And I'd put him up on the car and you know, he'd hang with me and yeah. you know what I mean? And then he'd come to my house when my mother had all the gangsters, we had some real gangsters and stuff. And he'd come to the house and, and he'd sit up on this like wood thing up there. You know, for golden? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I found my spot, you know? He'd be up there like that. You know what I mean? My mother would give us some, some cheese and some, some grapes yeah. and so, you know, he'd just be up there, thank you, Donna. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, no, still to, to Don Milian. Oh yeah, big, um, yeah. There's another place you got kicked out of. Everywhere, Japan. Yeah. Why did you get kicked out of Japan, fam? Oh, Japan. I'm black, y'all. I'm black, y'all. <laughs> and I'm black, and I'm black, and I'm black, y'all. <laughs> I'm glad you know. I'm glad you didn't fucking see it. <laughs> no, but okay, but no, for No, that's why, motherfucker. Why? <laughs> but I thought they embraced reggae over there. Yeah, but not me. They yeah. embraced it, not from my mouth, though. <laughs> so, what happened was, they hmm. threw me out in 1997. Okay. I was going to Japan. I've been there before. I won awards there. I got plaques and everything. I'm mm -hmm. you know, selling millions of records over there. Yeah. So Shaggy's starting on one side of the island. I'm starting the other side of the island. And we're going to meet in the middle and do Reggae Sun Splash, uh, Reggae Japan Splash. Yeah. Right? In 1997. Yeah. So I get to the border. I don't have no clue. They know anything about anything, about nothing, about nothing. Right? Mm -hmm. So I get there and they say, oh, you got to come into the room at customs. So I'm like, all right, this is normal. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I can do this. Right? There's no game I haven't played. Let's play. I'll play. Yeah. So I go in there and they say, you ever been charged with police? I said, no. Is that a rhetorical question? Yeah, I'm like, what's <laughs> <laughs> They come back in and they say, you ever, you sure you haven't been charged with police? I said, no, nothing. They said, no. I said, maybe a couple of tickets, but nothing really fucking. Why? What, what, why? Yeah. What's up? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> they said they come back they leave again they come back and they say you sure and i said i'm positive they say they pull out all my criminal records wow. I, got th I got three pages right they go like there's not a lot but I, you know for, you know I, I got three pages so yeah. i'm like because this is 97 before computers and google this is before so i didn't know they were all connected and they had all that connect you can see pack or c -pick. yeah no yeah this is so 97 so i'm like yeah c -pick, yeah toronto c pick me but yeah. fucking japan c picking me out right. mm. they said i looked at it, i said well this one here i should have beat <laughs> i said that, that one there i didn't do that one <laughs> I, don't know, I don't even know where the hell it was. right and i got an escape right on my record i got, I got an escape oh no. i got an escape uh, uh lawful custody it's called oh that's heavy bro escape lawful custody you know what i called it i said well they said what's this i said that there they made it wrong i said that's escape awful custody mm. i didn't like them i didn't want i didn't like the custody i was in i wanted to get away from them right so Japan said, okay, blah, 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 you know, oh, la, 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 da, 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 da. and then I said, uh, I ain't saying a shit. Mm. I ain't doing nothing. And I'm leaving and I'm going to Thailand. And I went to Thailand and I sang an album in Thai. <laughs> wow. That's cool. Yeah. So, and did I'm in Thai. That, so that's Japan's, a, I've never been back to Japan yet. Yeah. That's a crazy story. So I want, I want to ask you a couple more questions before we, before we end our conversation. Cause Fam, you have such an illustrious career and, and a, one of the most interesting lives I've ever heard, right? Through this whole thing with this music and everything, there's all the, the, the money that comes in, but then there's always sometimes with the business problems, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Marvin Prince sued you. This episode is also sponsored by Astro Pink. Always coming with that loud, loud. Hit them up on their Instagram, Astro underscore Pink, or on their website, myastropink.com. Always holding us down over here at the We Love Hip Hop Network. So thank you to Astro Pink. Cheer! For publishing and writing for Informer and other songs. Yeah. What was the story behind that? And what, what happened with that? Like, he's claiming that he gave you the style. But we have, we've just had a whole conversation here. Brother. Where we got, I got we're him here into, to where you got I'm the one from. who got him into hip hop, uh, reggae. Yeah. He was in his house, brought up with his mother and father. Mm -hmm. Most hip hop people are brought up with just their mother mm -hmm. in housing. So he was brought up hip hop, boom, 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 scratching, scratching, scratching. He said, just put it, I'm going to say one thing. You can look it up. If he said he taught me, right? When I first met him, where did I meet him? 
I met him at a fight. I met him at a, a, at a party. I was outside fighting, beating people up mm. and singing. I'm out of mercy. He said, are you Jamaican? <laughs> I said, no. Is your mother Jamaican? I said, no. Brother, we have an interview of him saying this out of his mouth, mm -hmm. saying, then I said, is your mother Jamaican? Is your father? If I tricked him into being, if he thought I was Jamaican, how do you have to teach me how to spit reggae? To be yeah. spit reggae if I already know and I'm I'm fooling you and you're Jamaican. Yeah. How do you have you understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. And where's the songs that we've ever done before in former and all them? If I was with you at your house and, and doing this stuff at the house, where one beat or one song we've done? Where's the song he's ever wrote since? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've done anything for you. I've done everybody wants to be like you. I've done all these songs. Not one song he's ever done again. He had the number one songs in the whole world. And, but he makes me mad. He makes, see, this one makes me mad about him mm. because he don't know how to write nothing. He don't know how to do nothing. Even fucking Clark Kent said, what are you doing scratching? He said, and first of all, how am I going to rip him off or even do anything when I don't even know the business? <laughs> Yeah, you pretty much learned the business nothing. from Shane. Nothing. I didn't know nothing. I yeah. didn't know no business. I knew the music singing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know a harmony. So how did I know points and how did I know all this stuff and go to jail for a year? Yeah. And, and doesn't he have time for a whole year to figure out and say, Darren, what happened with the points or what? He got all his publishing on Runway. Runway is the only song. He came with the 45 and said, yo, 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 this is the song Darren loves. And they still got it. Wow. wow. You know what I mean? So then... If I did him wrong, he wouldn't have done business with me ever again. Mm -hmm. Before Konkama came, a week before Konkama came, I got emails. Yo, Snow, let's work together, please. Let's work together. I want to be with you. I want to work with you. I want to work with you. Of course you do. And then Konkama comes out and it blows up and you get jealous again. You say, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So he almost had, he almost had it. You know what I mean? I was almost giving in to him before Kong Karma, and then when Kong Karma came. But let me co-sign something. Because from bring, bring the mic closer here. Let me co-sign something, because from 83 to 91, 92, when Daddy Snow bust with the informer, mm -hmm. Allen Berry started being dominated by Jamaicans. We were all over the place. It was right in front of ourselves, right beside him, hanging out on the block. We were all over the motherfucking place. Yeah. We're right there. So and he was rolling to the hood with his headphones, listening to what he was. It was all Yachty music. Mm -hmm. Before I even knew he, his name. Before he even knew his name. Yeah. Before I even knew facts. his name. I didn't even know who this guy was. He right. was just some kid from out there in Pickering. And, and then boom, boom, boom. He's lucky he got a hold of me. And lucky I just sing him music. He said, oh, it's right. reggae. Oh, I got to go to my uncle and get some music from my right. uncle because he likes reggae. Yeah. I only know hip hop. Mm -hmm. Right, so that's just you know what I mean, just to keep it jiggy. Enough time, and, and enough times I saved them too. You know, enough times I saved them. Beat yeah. up people for them, and beat up people for them, and beat up people for them, and beat up people for them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, have you guys? If he would have came to me and said, "Yo, yo, 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 it's no," I would have said, "Okay, you don't know how to write, but let's get money for you anyway. Let's right. let's, let's figure this out. And let's we're gonna eat." So, have you guys been come. able to find any kind of like? Besides the legal stuff, like just kind of like a, a resolution friendship wise, or are you brother, guys still at odds? Brother, <laughs> you just see what I said. Before Kankama, me and him were talking. I ran into him with Chip uh, Chip Fu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh, give me all this work, please. Let's work. I got all this work. Then Kankama came out. Pissed off. Yeah. Wow. And Kankama is. Just about to, you know, I was, me and him were talking. He was like, yo, I want to work with you. So why would you want to work with me so bad if I robbed you or for anything? Right. That's yeah. a fact. Plus, I've been in this business 25, 30 years. Ask me anybody in the whole business, why would I rob somebody at the beginning when I didn't know how to rob anybody? Mm -hmm. Now I know how to rob people. Right. And I'm not and robbing nobody. Right. And I'm giving everybody free shit and free this and free that. Oh. You know? Yeah. Well, we're going to get to Konkama, right? Because that's huge. Mm -hmm. Right, and that's like a a resurgence, you know what I mean, of 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 your infamous tune, or you're not infamous, famous tune, right? But you did hold music for Yahoo. T tell me about that, and how did I, how did that come to par? A uh, hold. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, 
my friend Jared, this guy Jared, he had this company, so he was like, oh, let's just do this little jingle for the whole. So I was I was on a plane somewhere, and I was like, all right, so Will and I just wrote a little jingle then. You know, that's what I do. If it's fun, I don't do nothing for them. Oh, I'm going to do this, going to be the money, and I'm going to do this for them. I don't do nothing for no money, ever, never did. That's why I became famous. I didn't do this for the money at the beginning, for the women at the beginning. That's why it all came, because I didn't have no agenda. You know what I mean? So... I just do whatever we have fun and we do, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I did, yeah. Them people that they ain't real, they ain't real. Well, shit, man. People use Google more more, more times anyway. Man. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> with, with, with Google and Yahoo, man. People. Oh, that's, yeah, that's retarded. Yeah, man. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to skip over the Cool and Dre time, unless you don't want to, unless you want to talk about the Cool and Dre times. Because in 2014, you linked up with infamous uh, producers Cool and Dre yeah. and Scott Storch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. We got some of them songs coming out still. Yeah, eh? Yeah. Okay. I just, just have them in the vault still, you know, just <clears throat> just there. Fat Joe's on one. Mm. Yeah, so we got a couple, so. Yeah, yeah. But, but then know, Daddy Yankee decided to remake Informa. Yeah. And not only remake it, but say, you know what? Let's see if we can get Snow to get up on this. Yeah. So, how did when when did the call come in? Was it the was it your management who hit you up and said, "Yo, yo, Daddy Yankee wants to to remake the tune." Like, how did this happen? They call me. They say, "Oh, Daddy Yankee." These people I know. They said, "Oh, Daddy Yankee wants to do your song," because during the time I was talking to a lot of you know. A lot of uh, reggaeton artists and stuff. I'll meet you and Sito and stuff like that. So he was like, yo, I want to do Informer over. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, okay, let's hear that sound. Let me hear that sound, right? Before I say, yeah, I want to hear that, you know. Mm -hmm. And then when I heard it, I got chills. I was like, all right. And he's like, and he wants you on it. And I'm like, all right, perfect. I mean, you know, I'll, you know. I got out of my bed. I went into the front room and did that. Sent it back to him. And then... I never met him, right? Mm -hmm. And I never talked to him, right? I didn't want to talk to him because, you know, the song started going big and, you know, hundreds of millions and stuff. And I never talked to him. And I said, I want to see him instead of talking to him. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, in like, person. Wanna, yeah, in person. See him. So he was doing a show in Montreal. So I called up a couple guys. I called up him. I said, you got a bicycle? He said, yeah, I got a bicycle. I said, get, get your bike. We're going to go for a bicycle ride. Mm. He said, all right. I pulled up in front of his house. We got three vans. We <laughs> boom, throw his bicycle. He's like, where are we going? I said, why don't you all do a show with Daddy Yankee? He said, what? He said, do a show with Daddy Yankee. So that's when I first met him on stage, mm -hmm. doing a show with Daddy mm -hmm. Yankee. You guys fucked me up because they don't try to cut you. No, you can cut. But yo, these guys, don't, wait, wait, wait. these guys don't drink like me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't drink at all. <clears throat> right. He don't drink at all. So they got me backstage in VIP with bottles the size of little Bow Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and we're there like, I'm there. So I, I started getting, there's like 30,000 girls in bikinis. Mm. You know what I'm saying? This wow. is Daddy Yankee like, show, bro. listen to me, King? There's like 30,000, there's like at least 20. It looked like I don't even know what number to call. <laughs> and I'm back there just wilding out, drinking, I'm bunning. They're telling me I got to move out and I'm on the six. Bro, I came, I threw up. <laughs> <laughs> came back, I was like, yo, I'm down. I came wobbling on the set. Came wobbling on. Trust me. Put his arm around Daddy Yankee. He's like, yo, Daddy Yankee, tell me the truth. You got your name from Daddy Snow, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, no, you didn't say that. See, that's all he calls me, like Daddy, Daddy, Daddy Snow. Yeah. He said, you got it from Daddy Snow, didn't you? I was wearing a Daddy Snow shirt, too. I'm like, tell the truth. <laughs> tell the truth, <laughs> right, from Daddy Snow. Like, ah. That Daddy Yankee, like, what's going on <laughs> over here in Canada, man? <laughs> Canada's, Canada's wild. It's cool, man. So, but, yeah, so it was, that was a blessing. Yeah, that's... That was like, that was another blessing I got, like the blessing I got from Buju and Beanie and all. Terrified and Nadine and all them. When I got that blessing for anything, yeah. I got that one there. So then that opened up the Latin world. Yeah. You know, so boom, when the Latin world opened up, I started going all the Latin Grammys and won like all the, all the awards and all that stuff. So mm -hmm. then we started to open up our own DKO and have our own 
you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. artist and stuff. Man, like and um, Espresso. Espresso, you know yeah, he's the actor in it. Yeah. So he's, he's in LA right now, mm -hmm. going to school. And we got, you know, the Latin one with, with the lamb. We have, he's from Mexico. He's okay. Here, you know, so that's what we do. We So, and I'm like, a, you know, we developed them too, you know? So we go to Florida and we get that house and there's all of us and we got our dogs and we got everybody and we stay there for six months and we just live all together and we just eat and sometimes he's the cook and sometimes that is the cook and you know what mm -hmm, I mean? And mm -hmm. we just cook it all up and eat it up and, um, and that's it. And we just have fun doing it and just come with our, with our thing and, and, and that's it. So that's blessed, man. Yeah. But Marvin, he's got, I don't know. That's sad. Man. Don't worry about him, oh, man. Oh, I don't worry about you know him. I worry about it. I worry about it. I worry about it. I worry about it. You know what I mean? You know, we're, we're, uh, we're, you've <laughs> had so much positive things happen in your life, King. Like, you don't even want to let any negativity in, oh, man. Nah, you can't get it. Like, you don't even want to let any negativity in, man. Nah, you can't get it. He, just before Concomer, he could have got in. Boom. He would have been, you know, he could have, but. He's positive too. Yeah. No, he's great. But he just has to be who you are. He's great. And he, he's doing what he's doing. And mm. if his daddy to know look the man who he is. Yeah. But he yeah. can't, he, you know, he should have known better. He should know better that I have no clue at the beginning. Yeah. Now, if I rip you off, okay, now you can say, okay, yeah, that motherfucker knows everything and he's been around this much yeah. and he knows how to points and public. Like you asked me about publishing and points. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm going yeah. to jail next week. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's different times. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, not even 20, I'm 20 years old. Let me ask you this then, because, you know, you know way more now, you know, the business, you, you have your own label, you know, you've been able to, to go through the streets and the music business. What's one thing that Snow now would tell the 18 year old Snow? Um, Drinking. Get rid of the alcohol. That's it. Touch me. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> Put down the bottle, motherfucker. You yeah. don't need that. Mm. Yeah, that was that because that's the gateway to everything anyway. That's the gateway drug to 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 uh to all the other stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If I knew because remember I started small, like what happened was I had a charge in nineteen ninety seven before I got kicked out of Japan, I had a charge. And I went to one charge and I punched the guy in the face and whatever and some shit mm -hmm. and the judge called me a scumbag a, a loser a piece you know all the, all the stuff that i'm that you're I'm, I'm used to but i'm used to i'm like all right yeah that's cool i'm glad you know you're figuring it out <laughs> right so boom, boom, boom. i have another charge where i beat what happened was this cab driver he beat the horn at me mm -hmm. And I beat, I, I gave him the finger and he gave me the finger back. I said, this motherfucker is fucking rude. <laughs> so I got my clubs on. I started smashing. Oh, man. So I started giving the cab driver that, right? So now alcohol, all alcohol, mm -hmm. right? Hold on, Frank. Can I hear him? What is he talking? Huh? Right? So, um, I, um, no, I forget what I was talking about. Oh, no, just the oh. different types of... And <laughs> listen, and, and I'm going to bring you back to what you're talking about because it's the trials and tribulations of alcohol, right? I can relate as somebody oh, who's... Oh, I got it. Okay, talk to me. I got to cut you off before I lose no, it again. No, please do. Please do. Uh, so then I was in the in 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 in, uh, in, in the court for the, the cab driver. And the judge says, uh, you got a big heart there, right? Telling me I got a big heart because I, I bought my, my dad a company, bought my mother a house, all that, so whatever, whatever. So, you know, you got a big heart. Mm -hmm. So, it's a big heart. This is 97. I'm 30 years old. Yeah. When I got out the courtroom, I look at my dad, right? But the judge gave me a year. If I mess up, I got to come back. You got to give me more sentence, whatever. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever. I leave. I said, Dad, you want to quit drinking? He said, what are we going to do? I said, I don't know. Let's smoke weed. I'm 30. Remember, I lived in Jamaica. I lived in Jamaica. I never smoked no weed. Mm -hmm. Remember, I did anything for you. I was drinking alcohol. I wasn't mm -hmm. smoking no weed. So at 30, I said, Dad, he said, like, what are you going to do? I said, smoke weed. He's like, all right. Well, okay, let's so at that time, 97, we quit alcohol and started smoking weed. Oh, so, that's, that's and I never touched a drink since. Wedding, all that kind of stuff. Nothing. Bang, dang, dang, dang. 
You know, and no. I'm not one. I'm not one. Oh, it's been 422 days and 96 no, hours. Fuck that. No, jack. King. As as somebody who's 12 years sober, yeah. I, I I completely see eye to eye with you, King. Done the alcohol. See that? See yeah. that was the best thing you ever did. Yeah, I, fam. I was in the dawn, and I was like, yeah, I I can't do this anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know see, what I'm you're in the dawn, and you're like, no, yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah. No, it's real talk, King. That was see. That's the alcohol with me. That was like you know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It was like uh. See, <laughs> I remember. See, I kind, I kind of grew up mom. You know what I mean. So when I I got charged with these, with uh four assaults with a baseball bat, at a bar, and I went to jail for the four assaults with the, four assaults with a bat. And I talked to my stepfather, the Italian. Mm -hmm. He said, "What well, you got charged with?" I said, "I got charged with four assaults with a bat." He said, "Oh, good. Well, that's good. Yeah, they're good charges." He said, well, "What happened?" I said I was in a bar and I got into an argument and then I smashed the guy in the head and I you know. Yeah. He said, how, how much money did you make? I said, What? He goes, How much money did you make? He said, Nothing. I was in a bar. He says, I know you. He goes, You're a sucker. He goes, I got guys owing me eighty thousand, ninety thousand. I give you ten. He goes, Be, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. At least you're neck, you know, you're a sucker. I'm in here fighting people just because I'm drunk, fighting you know, nobodies and bars and stuff like that. For so, free. For free. So it was like like a sucker thing. It was like, yeah, don't call me, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know. No, it's 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 wise lessons learned. And I feel like from this conversation here, a lot of people will be able to to be able to gain some knowledge about the business and about life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And I, and I appreciate you sitting down here and having this conversation with me, King. Even like we're the here. business now, yeah. Everybody, all these kids now, like especially from out here, we got a lot of talent. We always had a lot of talent, but mm -hmm. there's so much talent here. But we got to keep it straight. You know what I mean? Yeah, a lot yeah. of them get in trouble. A lot of them, because uh, you know, you, you're only going to find all the talents all in the hood. You want to find where all the talent, most of the talent is in the hood and mm -hmm. in prison or in jails. Jesus was in jail. Everybody, they throw all the talented ones in jail. Mm -hmm. They were all in jail. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want talent, you go to jail, you find every talent you want in the whole world. You want your album drawn, you want your album done there. Mm, right. You know, they, they're so talented, but. You know, they just didn't follow the rules. Yeah. And stop drinking so much of this water, too. This water here is crap for you. There's nothing for you. There's nothing for you. Yeah, you just drink your coconut water. Mm. You know? What, what do you got coming up for the rest of the year? Well, we got big places in Jamaica. We got big places. We got compound in Florida. Mm -hmm. We got... DKO tags. <laughs> DKO tags, eh? <laughs> Okay. Oh, only for him <laughs> he, yeah. and Cufflin he wants Cufflin and stuff. <laughs> you so, gotta handle the merch fam you he, know what I'm saying he wants the yeah. you know? but what we have going on is just a bunch of us having fun and doing it and and uh, and that's it and I wish Marvin was on board I wish Marvin was you know what I mean but maybe one day maybe one day but other than that it's love for everybody and you know but um, they uh, we did Oh, we got songs with Sean Kingston and Kamani Marley. Mm. I got, I got a song. See how Daddy Yankee, Daddy Yankee. See, Daddy Yankee did my song because my song influenced him a lot. Informer influenced Daddy Yankee a lot. Yeah, yeah. What influenced me? Red Rose Temple Temple. My God, is a sound in a temple, right? Mm -hmm. Me and him just did that song over Red Rose. Crazy with Sly and Robbie. Well, Sly. We were just in Jamaica last week, and mm -hmm. shit is like it's so crazy. But that's like Daddy Yankee doing it with Daddy Snow. That's like me doing it with Red Rose because that's that was like one of my favorite singers. I'd be like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, headphones, like you said, on my mountain bike, you know, yeah. driving around, listening to him, you know, and 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 doing all that. That's blessed. And doing all that. No, King, I look forward to it, man. Yeah, we got movies coming out. We got TV shows. We got a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of fun stuff coming. No, King, I, I look you forward. Know, from L.A. over to Miami, the Garden of Eden. Big up the Garden of Eden, Florida. Mm. Florida. You know, King, I, I'm looking forward to everything you got yeah. You got coming coming down the pipeline. We got a DKO podcast coming out, which will, you'll, be a, you'll be a guest I would like you to have, be a guest on, on our show. If Listen, I, I, I'm down to be a guest. 
I'm down to help you all behind the scenes in yeah. any way. Um, I, I feel like I've I've gotten this podcast game down pat. Yeah, now you at this point, good, you know good, good. Saying? I like it. I like it. I like so, it. You keep it. You keep because I I watch it to learn and see all the new kids in 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 in, uh, in Canada and here. Yo, that you watch our show, King? Yeah, I've been watching your show for years. <sighs> Yo, King, you just made my century bro that's yeah. oh, coming yeah. from a legend like you yeah, man, all, i appreciate that yeah always brother that's yeah. why i'm here that's why i'm here i'm only i only do things i want to do and like i'm not here to oh, promote myself and all. i want to get my story across and i want to tell the people that this i don't have no story and i don't want to tell nobody nothing really mm -hmm. you know the last time we were here we just felt boom and i'm like boom you know and that's it no, King, I appreciate no, that. No, I appreciate you having me here and ha having us here. I appreciate it, too. Yeah, you man. Know? And, uh, and I appreciate, it, you know, all the legends before me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, big up who? They big up, like, Maestro. Oh, yeah. Yes. Big up Maestro. <laughs> big, up Yo, Maestro. big up Maestro Fresh <laughs> West. Yes. <laughs> Alumni over yeah. here three times. Mm -hmm. No, Maestro. No, big up all the legends. Big up yeah, everybody. Mishy, everybody. And big up all the real G's still doing it in the streets. Mm -hmm. Just doing it. You ain't got no record deal. That's all good. You know what I'm saying? Big up Karis One. You feel me? Big up the real. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We, we're, we're here, 50th, 50th year anniversary for hip hop. And, and reggae and hip hop are, to me, together. You know what I'm saying? It's not two separate things. Even though it's two separate genres, there's something that's in unison. That's and right. And... Snow, you embody both. You know what I'm saying? You embody the hip hop culture, the right. reggae culture. I'm from Allenbury. Mm. I'm from Allenbury. Allenbury had it first. I'm telling you. We ran things, man. We had, Vanier was the toughest school too in the city. Mm -hmm. Toughest school in the city, Vanier was. Boy, our yeah, neighborhood was, we had Spiraway, Brahms, mm. Villaways. Allenberry, four corners. Four corners, you know. Yeah. So, and I seen it, and I seen, you know, all the Jamaicans moving into my neighborhood, and just brought this beautiful music and food and culture, and and I'm lucky it didn't clash. It could have mm. clashed. It could have been like, oh, uh, 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 you know what I mean? Yeah. But it wasn't. It was just. My dad was teaching my dad. The play guitar, yeah. His father's Jamaican, his mother's white, his father's Jamaican. Mm -hmm. He used to teach me when I was like 11 years old, bring me in, 12 years old, bring me in the basement and ring, 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 teach me. His father teach me in the basement. Yeah, you yeah. Know what I mean? He was in the some, some real, yeah. Some, he was in the Yeah. Before my man talking anything. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, no. Well, I, I, don't do, don't I know him. Back. I know him way later. That was like, you know. Yeah. Well, listen, man. But that's well, what we're doing, and, and uh, we got some good things coming. Knocking and big and up I, the whole planet. Now, big up, yeah. big up y'all for, for big up doing Toronto, this. Scarborough. Yeah, I was born in Scarborough. You were born in Scarborough too, right? You were no, born no, I was born in Montreal actually. Oh yeah, who was I'm born in import. Montreal? It was here. Well, we were born in the same hospital. Yeah, the round one. Yeah, Scarborough General. Yeah, yeah. Montreal. Well, the, well, listen, King, I appreciate you having this conversation with me here. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wish you continued success. You know what I mean? Everything that you got coming down the pipeline with the DK, DKO music and entertainment and all the things that you, that you got coming up. You know what I'm saying? Um, another one in the vault right here. Big up to the sponsors once again. Sovereign Selections for this episode. Hit them up on their Instagram, Sovereign.Selections. Or hit them up at their spot, 70 Dundas Street East, right next to Rock the House Barbershop. Um, another one in the vault right here. The legend Snow in the building. Aye. I'm gonna I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna lead us out here with your mega classic. Let's get it popping over here. What song is this? Let's see. We love hip hop. Hip -hop, hip -hop, hip -hop.